What's up, guys? It's your boy, The Bad Wolf. All right, a.k.a. James C. Lovett, my government name. Once again, keeping everything factual and up to par because uh, ain't nobody trying to hide behind aliases and what's not. Just a non-belligerent, non-combatant, non-person, private state citizen, foreign national. You know what it is. All right, so um, this particular video is going to be, well, let me, I digress. Thank you guys for joining. Um, I really appreciate that um, the subscriptions are going up with the Wolf Pack. So thank you for paying that monthly fee. You guys are appreciate you. Um, I made it affordable. I mean, if you can only give up two, if you can't give up two dollars, I don't know. I can't help you. But if you can't, you can't. Appreciate it though. So um, appreciate you guys for that. Appreciate the donations. Um, been a little slow lately. But it's okay. It's summer. It's hot. Everybody's barbecuing, but me. I'm here doing this stuff. So appreciate your boy. Um, so thank you for supporting, for watching. Uh, we we have a ton. I just looked at the numbers. We have a ton of people who watch this channel all the time and have not subscribed. Just subscribe. You know you want to. I'm easy on the eyes. I'm a cool dude. Let's just let's just work together here. All right. Why you watching me like like the you know creepy uncle or something? And you just don't. You know what I mean. <laughs> all right. So thank you guys for all of that. Don't forget to check out blacksite32.com. And uh, there's numerous new offers. There's some weight loss. There's Uber Eats. There's uh, people who like steak. Um, you know, and like I, like I said, I keep it real. So, yeah, I do get a little bit of scratch when you guys buy any of those things. Um, and you'll find out that most of those things on there, they're actually worthwhile. Okay, there's a reason why I'm putting them up there. I'm not just putting up junk. I've actually turned down numerous offers uh, for people trying to get their products on my channel. Um, if I don't think it's a fit or whatever else, I'm not going to just promote something. If I like it and I think you guys can benefit, then I'll bring it to you. So check those out. Um, also, if there are channels out there, if you guys have your own channel or a product or something that you guys want to possibly promote, hit me up. We can work on either an exchange or a monetary thing, and uh, we can make it do what it do. Um, uh, I also do appreciate you guys giving me connects, um, hooking me up with people with key information in the private industry or in the GOV or whatever else. I definitely appreciate all that. I do keep everybody's information confidential. Um, so uh, don't worry, I won't disclose it. But if it's something that provides a remedy, um, I've been hit up by various agents and police officers and whatever else giving me inside information. So I definitely appreciate you guys. Um, I will bring you guys what I can, what I think is appropriate. Um, some of it might just stay for me. Um, some of it might make it to the uh, the Wolf Pack, which is why I say join the paid subscription, because that's where you're going to find a little bit more private information amongst us inner people versus what is plugged out here for the open. Okay. Um, so that being said, let's get to the next book recommendation. Now, I've had this one for a number of years, and um, you know I've known a lot of this stuff, so... I sometimes forget that I got it from these books years ago. So I've been going back through some of my books and finding where um, I found the most important things that you need to know. And this is what you guys need to know. Okay, so let's get to it. So this particular video is going to be on contract law for dummies. Now don't be offended because it has the word dummies on there, all right? This just means it's going to take all the information out there and these thick old books that you guys don't know what's going on in the double talk and the back talk and the side talk and the legalese and puts it into formats where you can understand it. Same thing I do with a lot of that information. This book does, okay? I break it down from up here to where the average person can understand it in our terms, the way we talk, okay? And some of this stuff is even over my head, so yeah, that's why I brother got contract law for dummies because there's some stuff that is over me and, and I'm not too proud to say even though I'm super smart, uh, sometimes I need some stuff explained to me. Explain something to me, Lucy. Lucy, explain. You got some explaining to do. Okay, so I recommend you guys going on Amazon or whatever else. It doesn't have to be brand new. Get a used one, but get contract law for dummies. It breaks down. Because remember, everything that they do is contracts. So why shouldn't you know how to talk their own language? All right? See what's really going on. A lot of these people out here are thinking, well, I know what's really going on, and gosh darn it, you're not using the right words. No, you're not using the right words when you're dealing with contract and uh, the legal system, because everything they do is commercial and contract. Even federal officers, police officers, and whoever else, 
they're not taught this. They don't know that they're enforcing contracts in a private uh, uh, commercial basis for the corporation known as the United States, which under definition is located as a corporation in Washington, D.C. Okay? Okay, thanks for playing the home game. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Tear gone, sad no more. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the book, okay? What do they offer? What do they offer? Okay, let's get it right from the horse's mouth. Now, I'm not obviously going to go through all of their information because that would be bogus, all right? But I'm going to give you a good synopsis of what's in here. Okay, so they're going to introduce you to contract law and contract formation, okay? So you're going to, under, you're going to learn things like whether a contract is voidable, void, or unenforceable. So a lot of people out there ask me, well, how can I void a contract? When can I do all that? It's in the book, Lucy. Okay? Uh, analyzing a contract, their terms and their meanings, un unwritten terms, okay? Implied licenses, um, conditional language, breaching the contract, okay? Uh, remedies for breaching of contracts, explaining, examining how courts handle breach of contract, exploring remedies under Article 2 of the UCC. That's why I keep pushing that to you guys. I'm telling you, everything is, go is up governed and operated by the UCC. Most of these pl people, police, chiefs, and whatever else, they don't know UCC law, but UCC is what's controlling them. So even if they don't know, it doesn't matter. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Okay? Uh, that's why I say when you provide them with stuff with the UCC, and they're like, we don't understand that. That's not in our... Oh, yeah. No, it's not under you. It stands over you. It overstands you. Okay? Meaning you're underneath it, and you don't know it. All right, because you are you guys are operating in a commercial capacity in a corporation. Okay, it's a lot different than a private person. They're not. It's different. Okay. Um, it's also going to talk about. Um, let's see here. Let's just get to the main part. Um, performing in contracts. Okay. Um, applying state and federal law in court. Understanding. Um, inner inner interpretational skills, recognizing remedies, and establishing losses, okay? Um, turning a promise into an offer, giving acceptance. A lot of you guys don't even know what half of these things are, but these are this, this is how they're getting over, okay? Um, what's legal and what's not illegal? Remember, Congress gave us the ability to contract unlimited, all right? So when you're forming these contracts, you're creating something that typically, under most conditions, the law can't get into. That's why when you form like a UCC-1, you're bridging a contract between you and your straw man. And he can't defend himself, and so it's not breakable. Unless you really give them a reason to take a deeper look into what's going on. But t traditionally, no, they can't, they can't do a whole lot there. Which is why you need to be careful before you get into one. And... <clears throat> Always sign UCC 1-308 if you possibly can. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's it's it has all of these different things. Exploring remedies, checking out additional remedies. Um, most of you guys don't even know you can ask for remedies. All right, and sometimes you need to put these things into your contracts because you're thinking, oh, I can't put anything into my contract. They already have it written up. Oh, you can negotiate that. There's lots of little I won't go on all of them here, but there's lots of little tidbits and tricks that you can you can do to put things in your favor. Um, so, um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to give you the full breakdown, all of their rules, and basic understanding terms that um, anybody can. I mean, it's easy reading, guys. It's not like the big books where they have all the stuff that you know. You're like, what? I don't even know what you just said there. Contract equals offer equal plus acceptance plus consideration. All right. So that's it, guys. I'm telling you, grab this book. Zoop. And uh, become, get woke, get wise, because when you're signing those tickets, when you're signing those agreements, those are all contracts. Your, your license and all that stuff, it's all contracts. Bank loans and whatever contracts. So learn what they learn if you want to play the game. Otherwise, don't you, you're going to get caught up. That's about it, guys. I'll talk to you.